The goal of our practice is to create architecture where the human hand is obvious in its making and a consideration of how people behave in spaces is understood. Uh, with regard to the Makanis uh, domes, mini domes, there are 102 of these domes and we plan to have painted by a calligrapher in each one of them the 99 names of God. There are two ways of dealing with uh, a design of a building with such traditional values. Uh, one is to understand those traditions and import them into the design. The other way is to say, uh, well, I want to do something completely new. I want to do something that hasn't ever been seen before. I like to think that we would take the middle ground and that middle ground has something to do with an ability to see both elements of the past as being relevant um, as are the elements of the future, which is the potential uh, for people to enjoy a space in contemporary society. And, and for me personally, it's kind of fulfillment to see something built uh, that is going to be a landmark contribution to the environment, uh, which acknowledges our presence as a faith community. My view is that architecture should import, as does poetry, a sense of observation of the world. And I think that it's important as an architect to keep the sense of history safe. Otherwise people will start not wanting history. And I think that's a very dangerous, dangerous place to be for an architect. To combine the tradition with contemporary design. That's really important for younger generations of Muslims. If we are going to leave a legacy for them, that sends an important message to them moving forward when you marry the tradition with the contemporary context in which you live.